Hello, I'm Kevin Farmer. I'm the Deputy Director at the Barbados Museum and Historical Society. I could spend a whole day talking about that, but I think the easiest and quickest answer is museums are important because they help us not only to remember the past, but allow us to engage with and understand what took place in the past so that we can make better decisions for us today. But museums are more than that. They're more than just repositories of old stuff. They're spaces in which issues which affect all of us can be discussed, where different people of different opinions can come together in a safe space to have those discussions, some of which are difficult, some of which are contested, some of which are traumatic. And museums become the safe space in which you negotiate those multiple narratives around contestation and trauma, but also places where one comes to commemorate um, your life and the achievement of the society that you live in. And beyond that, museums are simply just cool. So come visit. That's hard. I'm, I'm almost tempted to say either the late 60s or early 70s and, and early 70s Barbados. Why? It's that time where we are maturing as a nation. We are having real discussions about who we are as a people and we're trying new things. Not to mention I would look really fly with an afro and a dashiki. And, and that was the height. And it's about that sense of discovery and the recognition that all things are possible. Um, outside of that, when else? 2017, 2018, because from 2020, things have just been a bit too rough and a bit too real. And, and we've got to navigate these challenging times, which by the way, history does help you to navigate. Just look at what was done during the flu epidemic in 1918. Let's do those right things in order to navigate this particular pass. But if I had to choose a decade, late 70s, early 80s, because I forgot to learn how to moonwalk. Um, what is my museum doing to diversify its collections? It's in fact engaging with the community to find out what the community wants their story to be told, how they want it to be told, going out there and recording those memories and where possible accepting the donations from people so that we can in fact have those multiple stories and that multiple diversity. Uh, because the Barbados Museum encompasses Barbadiana, I might argue that the collection is already diverse, but it is not diverse enough. Um, we need to speak to the different ethnicities who inhabit our space. We need to speak to the different social justice issues that have been ongoing, not only for the last 30 years, but for the last five years. That's a way for us to broaden not only our diversity, but broaden the narratives in which we can tell that Barbadian story. that's hard. I'm going to have to divide it into local and international. Locally, the exchange. The exchange which is situated next to the Central Bank of Barbados is in fact one of the more interesting and interactive museum exhibits on island. You really must go and explore it and I think you'd be surprised at what you'll find. Now internationally, I'm torn. I'm, I'm, I'm seriously torn. Um, for history, it'll be the National Museum of African American History and Culture at the Smithsonian in Washington, D.C. Amazing exhibitions, amazing architecture to house the exhibitions, fantastic uh, food in the cafe that all ties back into exploring and speaking about that African American heritage, some of which also talks about us in the Caribbean. That's it for social history. For design, it will be the V&A in London. Hands down, 
the best design museum in the world. Um, always exciting exhibitions on, always a different way of looking at how design has influence and continues to influence our lives. So those three museums for me are, are three of the best museums that I'd always want to visit. I must admit, that's got me a bit stumped and I'm gonna beg to speak to two things. I'm gonna speak to those Barbadians who migrated to Panama and elsewhere in the last century. And then I'm gonna bring it forward to those Barbadians who migrated to the UK in the 1950s and 60s. Because if not for those two sets of people, I wouldn't be here. And more importantly, the modern development of Barbados that we see around us wouldn't be here either. So it's not necessarily the historical figures, but a historical period and the role in which Barbadians played in history.